What's up, everybody? Frank Visconti, Boa Evolutions. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, start pairing up animals for breeding season. We're starting to get into the winter months. Um, it seems like I've had a multitude of uh, requests to uh, to show the snake room and whatnot. So I got some uh, I got some new stuff that I added in. A couple new animals that I ended up purchasing, uh, trading for. Um, you know, just some odds and ends stuff. I you know, shifted around the snake room a little bit, you know, added this, upgraded this. So I'll go around, show you some of the, uh, you know, show you some of the updates, show you, you know, show you some of the stuff that I added, changed, a couple of animals real quick that I'm going to be breeding this year. And, um, you know, other than that, that's, that's really about it. We'll uh, take you around, give you a quick, uh, quick updated tour. So here we go. Um, I ended up adding in another rolling cart this year. I ended up, uh, you know, just got a bunch of babies on there. Makes it easier to, uh, makes it easier to get into some of the, uh, some of the male racks. These are a bunch of boys that I'm going to be, I'm going to be using for breeding this year. Got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of cool stuff in there. Teapot stuff, Motley, uh, Hat Sharp stuff, a bunch of Fine Line stuff, um, Hypo Silver stuff. I got some jungle het for anatheristic. <coughs> um, I just ended up adding in this small, small little baby uh, rack right here. I ended up upgrading a bunch of a bunch of animals. I put them in the uh, in the sweater boxes, the double wide shoes. Uh, hung that poster up on the board, or hung that poster up on the wall. Um, I mean, obviously, everybody could tell. I obviously like my freedom breeders. Um, personally, for me, freedom breeders is just the way to go. You know, there's there's nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like them. I've had great success with them. You know, freedom breeders are ARS racks. Them are just... It's just the way to do it. There's a... Uh, there's the head of security right there. That's my little buddy. That's Rox. He uh he's been with me for for years now. He um I got him when he was five pounds, and he is now pushing fifty five pounds. So that's my buddy. <coughs> what you doing, Rox? <laughs> um, it's my workstation where I you know I have my computer and all my other video stuff and whatnot. There's my Asian water monitor, that's Zilla, digging around in his cage. Um, just an amazing animal, love that animal. He's in and out of the water bowl. <laughs> there he goes, he just got done eating. Sucked down a couple rats this morning. Yeah, I started shifting some stuff around because I have, a, uh, I have an arboreal cage that I want to... Uh, that I'm looking to add into the snake room that I have out in the other room that I got from I got from Habitat Systems. I had at one point in time I had uh, some emerald tree boas in there. I no longer have my emeralds, so I ended up uh, I moved it out of the snake room. But I want to get it back in the snake room. It's a it's a nice cage. I want to I want to put it to use again. So yeah, this, this upcoming breeding season is going to be pretty neat. I got um. My big female albino. She's been uh she's been you know real good to me in the past. She gave me uh, she's gave me a couple litters now. Um last year she gave me a litter about mid twenties of all albino and sunglow stuff. So we'll see if uh we'll see if she's gonna gonna do her thing again this year. She's a great snake. <coughs> she was an animal that I produced here years ago. I ended up holding back. Um, I got another. This is a uh, hypo. 66 head sharp. We'll see if she um, finally proves herself out. She's primed up, ready to go. 
down here I got some uh, I got some uh, potential dominant hypo stuff uh, hypo pastel some pastel dream stuff there's an animal right here that just actually ended up shedding she um she's been a great animal she produced a, a litter for me last year some real cool jungle stuff um, she gave me some pretty crazy pretty crazy striped uh, striped animals and whatnot so keep our fingers crossed with her again <clears throat> I got my uh, I got my Suriname stuff over here um, you know, big honk and red tail uh, just beautiful animal we'll keep our fingers crossed hopefully we'll get some uh, we'll get some good prime babies out of her we got another female Surrey right above her. Down below, we got the uh, we got their boyfriend. Um, I got some nice line of Suriname stuff. I mean, I got some uh, I got some two to hope animals. I got some Florida red tail stuff. <coughs> uh, up here, these animals are going to be getting moved up to freedom breeders pretty soon. This is a, uh, a male snow glow, sharp string snow glow. Got a motley right next door, a couple t uh VPI t animals down below it. Um, they got to get moved up into uh, some of these, these male freedom breeder racks, which in turn I have to take some of these animals and shift these animals out to this rack, which will be getting done here very shortly. Um, got a few animals over here on breeding loan. I got a square tail, big square tail female. This is from my buddy Doug at uh, Bola Basement. Real good guy. Check out some of his stuff. Produces some killer boas. Let's see a uh, big square tail. I got a uh, couple of uh, arabesques right above her that are going to be uh, getting put to good use this year. I got some got some real nice boyfriends that are going to be uh, going to be hopefully getting the job done. Um, I did end up adding in a few Key West, uh, basically a pair of Key West 100% uh, head sharp strain albino boas this year. Um, here's this animal right here. This is the female. Look at that beautiful thing. That is a Key West 100% head for sharp. I got that from my buddy Doug as well, Boa Basement. He's got them animals still available. Check them out. Um, yeah, keep our fingers crossed with those. That's the uh, that's the newest addition. Prior to that, I ended up adding in uh, right up here. I added in a uh, arabesque, 100% het for T positive albino. Um, so we'll try to make some VPI t arabesques this year. Well, not this year. Uh, in another another couple of years down the road. Um, right next door to that, got the Motley Head Sharps, you know, Jungle Head Tees, a um, bunch more t pies Hypo Silver stuff, a bunch of Sharp Strain Albinos, Sharp Strain Sun Glows. Um, you know, so on and so forth. Down the line, got a... Uh, Jungle head anneries, a couple of barren boas, um, got a replacement Suriname. Boy, it's going to be uh, taking care of them girls over there here pretty soon. Um, I mean, as you can tell, I, I like my uh, I like my freedom breeders. I mean, there's there's nothing. I don't think there's anything better. I mean, just a quick just a quick overview from this side of the room. I mean. Got your two four footers there. Got you know my tortoise's cage. <clears throat> you know, the freedom breeders there. Got the rolling cart, bunch of babies. <clears throat> you start going in this room over here. This is where you start getting into the uh, into the rodent area, freezer. Um, you know, even on the uh, even on the aspect of the rodents. You know, I use freedom breeders for the rodents as well. You're working with about 100 colonies of mice, about 40 colonies of rats. Um, 
production with that stuff is great. You know, produce I don't know, well over a thousand mice a month. But it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pretty interesting season. I'm looking forward to it. If everything goes good, should hit a couple hundred baby boas. Um, you know, in the past, usually average out between 100 to 150 babies a year, easy. What you doing, Rax? Still hanging out? That's my buddy. How you doing, my man? That's a great animal. Sulcata tortoises. You gotta love them. Zilla, he's been with me now for two years. He um he's in charge of security as well when he's out. I try to take him out. Yeah, I try to take him out at least, you know, at least on a minimum once a week. Interact with him, you know, multiple times throughout the week, two, three times a week. You know, take him out, hold him, you know, trim his nails or do whatever I gotta do. Uh, super tame animal just just an amazing amazing lizard Asian water monitors are just just I love them I think they're great um, over here I have the Key West boy that I just ended up getting and this will be the boyfriend to uh, this will be the boyfriend of that little girl you just seen look at the tail on that thing So I tried to make some uh try to make some sharp strain albino key wests. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that breeding. And that's really uh that's really about it in a nutshell. You know, try to keep everything, uh, try to keep everything nice and convenient. I got a bunch of, uh, I got a bunch of stuff I'm raising up in here. Got some hypo fine line stuff. Uh, got some uh, hypo silver arabesques. Um, a bunch of jungle stuff. I got hypo pastel jungles in there that I'm working with. There's a sun dream right there. Uh, we got some we got some cool stuff in the works. Uh, you know I'm I'm looking forward to the uh, I'm looking forward to the future down here. So we'll see uh, we'll see what the future holds and you know as time goes on I'll keep doing videos keep letting you guys check everything out and uh. That's pretty much about it. So there it is, just a quick, uh, just a quick update of the snake room. Quick update of stuff that's going on. I'll probably shoot another video when I uh, when I start pairing animals up, when I start putting animals together. Uh, try to do somewhere around, it's probably somewhere around at least 15, 15 pairings this year. Oh, here we go. Somebody was about to yawn. See if we can get it. No, missed it. So, uh, yeah, in the next couple weeks, everything will be getting put together, and we'll uh, shoot another video of that. So, hope everybody enjoyed it. I'll be talking to you in the near future. And, uh, you know, good luck with your breeding seasons and everything, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Later, guys.